everybody, welcome back to Tassa's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. I have a comparison for you today. Two very heavily layered, kind of angled, uh, short bob style cuts. The first one is Cherry by Beltras. We're going to compare that to a very popular one by John Renault called Ignite. Coming up. Comparisons are fun to watch and sometimes you can pick up on subtle little differences that make all of the difference when it comes to making good buying decisions for yourself. So taking a look at this brand new style by Beltress called Cherry in the color Butterbeer Blonde. Again, a straight, short, heavily layered, kind of angled bob style cut with a, with a little bit of longer fringe. That reminds us very much of the John Renault's Ignite, doesn't it? Ignite's been one of the most popular styles by John Renault for many, many years. It was one of the first styles that I really started to love as a wig wearer. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the John Renault's Ignite. I have it in 22F16, which is blonde brownie. So we're gonna compare, do a quick comparison of color and style. It's basically a dark ash blonde with some pale ash blonde highlighting, especially around the face. It's just a tad darker here at the nape, but it's an ash tone blonde and it's not rooted. You can really see the dimension just pop on this Butterbeer Blonde when comparing it to an unrooted color here. Uh, the Butterbeer Blonde is a light sandy brown with some hev heavy ash blonde, almost platinum highlighting, and then a medium brown root. They say a light brown root. I've seen different applications of that root color, and on this particular piece, it appears of medium brown to me. So when looking at these two side by side though, um, even though this is considered to be an ash blonde, I really feel like this is a cooler tone. I think it looks a little bit warmer on the 22F16, don't you? So what you have to remember though is that the application of the same color on a non-heat friendly style and on a heat friendly style can appear very different. And that's very obvious on the John Renault colors because they offer the same colors in their heat friendly line. And uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the other brands don't do that. For instance, Beltres, their entire cafe collection is made with the heat friendly fiber. So we really, we really don't have a non-heat friendly fiber to compare the color to. Looking at specs and dimensions, right around the face is around eight to eight and a half in length on the Ignite. And that's gonna stretch about an inch below my chin. And then you notice here on the cherry style, it's about seven inches. So that just, if you pull it out, it stretches just below my chin, but really when it frames the face, it hits right at chin level. So depending on the measurement um, that you prefer around the face might make your decision on these two. Now in the back on Ignite around five and a half inches, I would guess a very similar measurement on the crown of the, the cherry style. About a two and a half inch nape on the Ignite versus a one inch nape on Cherry. So if you need a little bit of a longer nape, the Ignite would probably be the better choice of these two. So one of the biggest differences then you're gonna see in the cap. Uh, the cap on the Ignite is a lace front and then it's open top, sides, and back. On the Cherry Style by, by Beltress, you have the lace front and the left monofilament side part. That changes things a little bit here for Ignite because Ignite's gonna need a lot more permatease to cover wefting and so forth on the top. There's a lot, lot, lot of permatease on the Ignite by John Renault, very little permatease on the Cherry style by Beltress. There's probably around a five and a half inch layer here on the Ignite, giving that an obvious angle. So here on the Cherry style, I think you're probably looking at maybe three and a half to four inches here on the sides. So it doesn't have that full look uh, on the sides that you're gonna see with the Ignite. So overall, the Ignite is going to appear a little bit longer in all measurements. So the price points are different as well. So the price point on the belt trust style actually reflects the upgraded cap features with the monofilament part in lace front. Be sure to look below the video, expand the description box so you can see the links to these products where you'll see all of the colors available and also the prices. So without further ado, let's go ahead into our side-by-side -side comparisons. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.